Domi Masola's alleged killers vowed to take murder details to the grave. The Benoni Magistrates Court on Friday heard how the gang of six men who were allegedly behind the killing of Rhythm City actor Domi Masolo had vowed to never reveal what had happened on the night he was shot dead in Tambiza. This was contained in the written confession by one of the accused Siphon Donkosi who turned himself over to police a few days after the murder. Sali and Jabu said we must keep the matter about the shooting to ourselves. If someone amongst us talks about it that person must be killed read the confession. Parts of it were read out by Magistrate Tal Maurice Gutt. Nkosi had turned himself in after hearing that Bongani Masambuke one of his co-accused had been arrested. But on Friday through his lawyer he claimed that the police had beaten and threatened a confession out of him. A third accused Kambudzo Solomon Mokiba alleged to be the triggerman is also behind bars. He was arrested for a separate crime and later linked to Masala's murder. Nkosi applied for bail while Masambuka and Mokiba opted not to. But Scott denied Kosi bail. Delivering her verdict she said, for you to say that there is not a strong case against you is a long shot. The investigating officer in the case Mkaka Zizine when you said Kosi gave police a detailed confession of how he and a gang of other men left Tambiza and headed to Davyton with the intention of stealing a big car. They hijacked Trevor Shebang who of his jeep bungling him into the back seat before driving with him back to Tambiza where they tried to hijack Masala who was sitting in his Golf 7. Masala was wounded as he tried to flee his attackers. He later died at the Tambiza hospital. After Masambuka was arrested following a police investigation Kozi and another suspect who was yet to be arrested fled to his sister in Rustenburg. He told police that while in Rustenburg they hijacked a Ford Ranger at gunpoint. Meanwhile back in Tambiza police had raided his home where they found bags of Daga. And Kozi decided to turn himself in saying he was worried that the murder would be pinned on him and the other accused he had gone on the run with. And Kozi said he was innocent and all he had done was drive the jeep during Masala's botched hijacking. But Scott said there was nothing noble about him turning himself in. The applicant in the case handed himself over but this was not out of the blue. The police were on his heels said Scott. Fingerprints taken from the jeep which was later found dumped in Tembiza have placed Cozy in the jeep. Shea Bank with a jeep owner who was dumped following Masola's killing was able to identify Kambuzo Solomon Makuba in an identity parade. The police were still searching for the other suspects in the matter.